Hey folks, it's time for Frugal Prepper. I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick tour of the garden and stuff that's going on here. So I got uh, some cucumbers and some peppers. Uh, this one went a little too long. <laughs> uh, I missed it uh, last week harvesting. Um, the other thing I got is this string. I was tearing up old t-shirts, but you can get this yarn stuff on Amazon and it's actually t-shirt material. It's perfect for tying up plants. Got me a bottle of Thoracide on sale for three dollars. Comes in handy for growing the cabbage. The uh, beans are pretty happy here. Um, again, I needed I need tea frames on this bed, you know. But I'm using this piece of fence, and it's, it's got so much weight on it that it's buckling and wanting to fall down. I put in a couple of more stakes to kind of help hold it. Uh, but it's full of beans um, there's all kinds of little baby beans back in here be ready for picking by next week and um, I've got a few things eating on them here and there but you know they're still growing and producing so I'm not worried about it but uh, you know I pruned all the bottom leaves off and then we just have the stems sticking up out of the ground um, just to help cut down on pests getting up to the plants cucumbers are still hanging in there and they are still producing but they're wilting back pretty hard during the day and i don't know but they're still producing cucumbers like crazy i had a big patch here wilted down and had to cut it out uh, but i'm just gonna let them go and see if i can get a few more batches of pickles out of them i mean there are little baby cucumbers everywhere so I, I should be getting it done. <laughs> Here's the eggplants. They're growing and getting pretty healthy. I don't know if they got any little eggplants started on them yet or not. Um, if not, they will very soon. Um, squash plants, still big and healthy. No squash bugs yet. Uh, we've been harvesting squash off of these like every day <laughs> um, so the beans um, I planted these top crop beans right here these are top crop I thought they were provider they're actually top crop it was my last pack of top crop seeds they all sprouted they all grow them like crazy these are the provider beans not not doing so well but I'm gonna give them a little more time because mainly because I'm out of top crop seed <laughs> So I need to let some of these grow to maturity and get them seeds off of them. The potatoes are all up and growing. These are Kennebec. Uh, they're all looking pretty darn happy. And so we'll just let them grow. And tomatoes, I had to put some extension stakes on. And uh, there's some damage to that one. Wonder how that happens. Probably me and the, the hose. But uh, if you can see, they're just loaded up with tomatoes down here. I got one that's going ripe <laughs> right here. Um, but they're just all in through there, all the way up on the foliage. They're just full of tomatoes. So. Uh, been a good year for tomatoes. They're just tomatoes all the way up those plants. Um, I need to get out here and do some more tying back of these suckers. Here pretty soon they just grow so fast it's hard to keep up with them. Um, peppers. This is my bell, uh, my uh, sweet uh, banana. This is Hungarian hot wax. These are baby bells down here in the middle. They've been really productive. The California Wonder Bell. And this is something called a sweet spicy slice. There's nothing sweet about it. It's really hot. Been taking them to work and giving them to people who like hot peppers. I sliced one of those off. I ate one slice and it made my mouth burn for like an hour. These are the onions that survived. <laughs> They're going good. Um, these are Henderson Lima beans here. They did not all come up. But there's still a couple coming up so i'm just 
we're gonna let them grow and see what happens this is my other baby corn this is what came up of it not a lot <laughs> so i'm hoping i can at least get it tall enough to maybe get some seed off of it and then we'll try it again next year but uh i don't know corn's kind of funny sometimes sometimes it just comes up later some some of it comes up right away some of it comes up later this is my other little baby squash plant that was really little and dying and it is still dying so we're gonna take that on out of the garden and get rid of it <laughs> uh, that was just too stressed uh, to, to survive much longer so keep the dead and dying plants out of the garden as much as I can uh, the peas are about played out they're about ready to come out I still have one more little harvesting to do off of them but they're about done it's it's that time of year <laughs> the corn the uh, baby bonus corn it's getting big he's flowering it's not produced a single ear of corn this crap is sterile it's the same problem i had with it last year but i thought i planted too late no no it's just sterile corn sometimes that happens when you get hybrid corn this is a uh, burpee baby bonus not cheap four dollars a pack for the seed and it doesn't produce anything <laughs> uh. <laughs> so that's why i'm hoping that that other asian corn will grow some ears and i can let them i'll probably take a, a couple of them and uh, use them as baby corn and the rest i'm probably just gonna let grow and go to seed and so that i'll have plenty of seed to plant that next year and see how it goes but uh yeah, it's going pretty well. It's it's been a pretty good gardening year. Um, I got lots of spaghetti squash over here. Some of them are getting close to being harvested. Um, let me show you. These I just kind of plant them over here and let them grow out through the grass and let them grow. So you can see there's one, there's one, there's one, there's, there's some more over here. <laughs> there's spaghetti squash in here everywhere. And uh, these back down here have kind of started to die. Um, I mean, I would say that that's definitely showing signs of a deficiency. I'm thinking nitrogen or copper, but or iron because it's still got the green middle parts i'm not sure got a big spaghetti squash growing back there though I'm just gonna let them grow I'm just gonna let them grow see what they do <laughs> as long as i can get like 20 spaghetti squash out of here i'd be happy with that so um I mean, i've been feeding it the weekly feed but it just is what it is the new growth looks fine that old growth is yellowing out and dying. And sometimes plants just do that to their old leaves. So, not always an efficiency. But, uh, yeah. Everything's looking good. Uh, I got some uh, white spine cucumbers planted out front to let them grow. In case these things take a major turn for the worse and die back, I'll have a few more plants out front um, but we'll just have to see what happens we'll just have to see but uh, you know you kind of learn what works and what doesn't work in your garden and I'm not growing these national pickling cucumbers again <laughs> they are too heat sensitive but anyway that's all I got I'll talk to y'all later it's time for frugal prepper